Biyahe kasama si DJ Lala a Arangkada na. This one was sent to us over at our uh, DJ Lala Banderas Facebook page. My love, eto ang biyahe ng buhay ni Len. Way back 2020, sa spread of coronavirus, may nakilala akong lalaki. Like what others do, we started to know each other. Day by day, we always exchange uh, sweet messages and good mornings and good evenings. Nagtagal yon ng six months. And then, bang! I fell in love. So since I have courage to confess, I confess it to him. Even though I know that he is already married. And worse, they already had a son. That time, I'm willing to be a mistress without its consequences. Or without thinking about its consequences. I know na ganun din nararamdaman niya sa akin. Di niya lang masabi kasi nakatali na siya. After that confession, he started to avoid me through chat and in person. In 2022, we don't have conversation. We did not have a conversation until 2023, kinausap niya ako. I don't know na yun na pala yung last talk namin kasi na-assign na siya sa ibang lugar. As of now, sa totoo lang DJ Lala, hindi pa ako nakakamove on. And that is my story. Thank you and more power to your show. Well, and sa totoo lang, I do not know what you expect to happen dun sa relationship na yon. Are you expecting na something good will come out of it? Na iiwanan niya yung pamilya niya para sa'yo and all that? I hope not. I hope hindi ka nag-expect ng ganun. I understand na maybe it's because, because you are still 18 years old. Maybe... Maybe bata ka pa talaga. Maybe the one to blame is that guy who has already f- uh, lived quite a life. Not yet full, pero quite a life. Naka- naka-experience na siya ng madami. Married na siya, meron na siyang anak. Maybe he could have handled you better. Maybe he could have handled yung uh, relationship niya better. Na sana naging faithful siya sa asawa niya na walang kaalam-alam that there was this episode. Kasi that wife will never know. Siguro, in the middle of things getting really serious, he opted not to push through. Kasi, alam na, complications, maybe nagka-cold feet, or maybe, hindi naman talaga niya intention na makipagrelasyon. Gusto lang talaga niyang uh, mag-enjoy, malibang. In short, uh, I'm so sorry, pero past time. Naghanap siya ng pampalipas oras at ikaw yung napili niya. Ikaw yung chosen Pokemon. <laughs> well, my love, uh, what happened to you is not funny. I'm so sorry for, for laughing. I just laughed at my joke, not because you are a joke. Um, siguro as for me, my love, I-charge mo na lang to, to experience. There's nothing more you can do about it eh. Hindi mo siya pwedeng i-blame kasi you were fully aware na he is married at meron siyang anak. And to con your own na sabihin na natin term or sentences, my love, phrases. Willing kang maging mistress. Willing mong isugal yung sarili mong dignidad. For a relationship like this. But I just hope after experiencing nothing out of it, hindi mo na ulit gagawin yun. No matter how blinding that person may be, I hope hindi mo isasubject yun sarili mo to something na alam mong hindi ikaw. Alam mong hindi mo deserve. You don't deserve to be a choice. Uh, you don't deserve to be an option. You don't deserve to be the third party. 
You deserve to be the only one. You deserve to be the choice. You just have to wait for the right person and right moment to say yes to that someone. Wag kang magmadali. 18 years old, you're so young. You're still so young. You still have a lot of things to experience. Maybe it's the pandemic. Maybe uh, yung loneliness uh, caught up to you. So, uh, sumugal ka just for the heck of it. Kasi wala kang ibang... Wala kang ibang makita eh. Walang, walang pasok. So, walang, wala yung mga classmates mo. Wala yung mga kabatch mo. Wala kang kaedad. Wala kang makilala. And then, this person uh, came into your life and uh, he seemed there. Reachable. Convenient. Sa moment that everyone else is bothered or everyone else are bothered by the chaotic environment, uh, he uh, purposely... Made you happy, despite the chaotic situation. He was the beacon of light na nakita mo. Sinundan mo siya. Yun nga lang, not knowing that that light is not actually a light you can come near to. It's a fire. Apoy siya, my love. Hindi lang siya basa-basa ilaw apoy siya. Napasu ka na. So I hope yung pasung yana will be a constant reminder for you. Not to let yourself be an option to someone, to anybody for that matter, my love. Uulitin ko, you deserve to be the choice. Huwag natin isasubject yung sarili natin sa isang posisyon kung saan luging-lugi na tayo, alam na natin yan to begin with. And yet, isusubo pa natin yung sarili natin just for the sake na ma-experience siya. Just for the sake na makuha tong taong to. No one is worth your dignity, my love. No one is worth that sacrifice. If that person really is into you, he will make it right in his own way without dragging you into it. Gagawin niya munang tama yung sitwasyon bago siya lumapit sa'yo kasi iisipin niya kailangan kung maging karapat dapat para sa'yo. So, aayusin ko muna lahat ng issues ko, mga personal kong uh, troubles, may mga personal kong sabit before ako humarap sa iyo kasi that's what you deserve. Isang relasyon na walang sabit, isang relasyon na walang gusot, isang relasyon na walang issue. And I'm telling you, my love, that kind of a person is not impossible to find. Hindi imposibleng makakilala ka ng ganyan. I know so many great guys in my life. To name a few, si Boy Pindot. O di ba? Si Rico Panyero. They are great guys. One of the, ano na eh, one of the market, Chris Chuper. Kasi kakakasal lang niya eh. Diba? He used to be a single for so long. Now he's off the market. So I'm telling you, one day someone will walk into your life and make your sacrifices worth it. Kasi alam mo sa sarili mong may patutunguhan yung sakripisyo. Yun naman yung dahilan, diba? Kaya, Willing tayo mag-sacrifice in life because meron tayong destination na alam natin maaabot natin if we make that sacrifice. So, huwag ka mag sa isang bagay na alam mong walang patutunguhan. Lagi mo yung ilalagay sa sarili ninyo, sa, sa, sa mga kokote ninyo. Huwag kayong magpadala sa mga, alam mo yun, mabulaklak na salita, malalambing na salitaan. Huwag kayo nagpapadala sa mga ganyan, my love. Lalong-lalo na kung sila ay committed na sa iba. You have to give the same respect that you wanna receive dun sa partner ng taong kakalantariin mo. ba? You have to give the same amount of respect na gusto mong matanggap dun sa partner ng tao na aagawan mo ng kapareha. Kung gusto mong respetuhin ka, kung gusto mong mahalin ka ng tama. Kung gusto mong uh, magkaroon ng isang relasyon na walang kaba na baka maagaw siya ng iba, simulan mo yung relationship nyo sa tamang paraan, hindi sa sulutan. Kasi ang taong sinulot mo sa iba ay madali lang din masusulot sa iyo. Tandaan mo yan. You'll always have that fear hanging over your head na dahil one time na siyang nag-cheat, 
sa partner niya for you, hindi imposible ang gawin niya din yan sa'yo for someone else. Klaro, Len? At sa lahat ng mga Len out there na nadadala ng mga ganitong salita, especially talaga yung mga biglang nadidestino sa province, uh, sa province tapos syempre dahil matagal silang madidestino doon, they have to create a life there. And uh, sumasideline sila kahit meron silang pa- pamilya sa ibang lugar. Huwag kayong magpadala sa mga ganyan. Lagi niyong tatandaan, you deserve more than that. You deserve more than just to be a mistress. You deserve to be a wife. Hindi ikaw yung babaeng pinanggugod time. Ikaw yung babaeng pangmatagalan. Klaro? Klaro.